going to try to give you a rundown of some of our Alaska stories for this Tuesday, November 29th, 2016. We're going to try to do it in three minutes or so. A couple of bodies were found in a burned-out Ford Bronco in Soldatna. It appears that they are the two individuals that were reported missing earlier this month. No details yet as to how they died or how their bodies came to be in that Bronco or how either the Bronco or the bodies were set on fire. The Legislative Council has refused to pay the landlord in the $37 million bid to basically escape what they were owed. Many questions remain in that murder-suicide in Fairbanks. Uh, a lot of the details, of course, can be found at the Newsminer and at ADN.com as well. What we know right now is that four people are dead. Uh, the victims include the 54-year-old mom, the 22-year-old wife, and the eight-week-old baby girl. The father apparently killed those other three and then killed himself. There's no indication as to who the family friend that was found out, or family member, whoever it was. Uh, they don't know who that, they haven't released who that person was that was found crying outside the hotel room. And he, they just said that he's not a suspect. And there's also no information as to the other child involved, although that other child was not present and apparently is safe. Also, an oil company that received a multi-million dollar, $30 million state loan is now asking for some changes in their terms after Governor Walker vetoed the tax credits that they were supposed to be paying back the loan with. So they got the loan with state money, and then they were supposed to be getting tax credits with state money, and they were planning on paying the loan with the state money. Anyway, that's they're trying to renegotiate that now. And there's been apparently a couple of random assaults in the Muldoon area in Anchorage on Monday, Two different women were attacked by a apparently the same suspect, a black man wearing shorts and no shirt. In one case, the woman fought back. In the other case, a man inside the home chased him out. And the response from the police as they're continuing to look for the man is to lock your doors. Teen substance abuse stats that just came out show that the amount of smoking is down and other abuse of prescription drugs is down as well in terms of teenagers. However, bullying is up. Coast Guard has rescued an injured crew member north of ADAC. Apparently they flew out and picked the guy up in a helicopter. I can't imagine how scary that trip would have been. Also, the number of crashes and spills on Alaska highways has increased dramatically after the time that the state started requiring fuel to be shipped to the North Slope instead of them making their own. And they're talking about what they can do to regulate that more. Cook Inlet Keeper has added a sensor to the Russian River so they can monitor the temperature in that river. And there's a report that the Nishigak and also another area that they're trying to annex, Manicotak, I believe, they're trying to annex actually part of the area out in the ocean uh, and so that they can tax the fishing boats. And both of those annexation bids have been uh, recommended against. Homer apparently has decided to stop paying their lobbyists and send their own council members down from time to time and simply monitor the situation. Election turnout this year was slightly up in the state of Alaska to about 60%. So that means 6 in 10 people determined the election results. Affordable housing still an issue in Juneau, and the city of Juneau trying to figure out how they can encourage it, either by grants or by releasing restrictions on how land can be developed. New taxes that were planned for the peninsula, clearing, the peninsula area, the Kenai Peninsula, may be delayed now. And it looks like the police in Anchorage are asking for help in finding a missing teenager, a 14-year-old girl that is considered to be at risk. There was a drive-by shooting in Sutton. The man is now in custody for that. And there's a that, that pot shop that we told about, the first one in Juneau, it sold out in three hours. Apparently, they didn't have as much pot on hand as they thought they would need. Also, there's a look at some of the marijuana products that Alaskans can expect in the latest edition of ADN. It's the Alaska Dispatch News. And there's a story on new clues in the mystery of the lost ships Terror and Erebus. Apparently, have now both been found. And so now they're going to start trying to figure out what happened to the crew. Although it does look like the rumors that they ate each other is true. This was, you know, a couple hundred years ago. I am not really sure if 
well, we'll just leave it lie at that. You want to read more about that, go to ADN.com and look in the Arctic section. That is it for our Alaska News today. I am the man with the face made for radio, Steve Floyd. Hope you enjoyed today's podcast. All the links are at my website, RadioFreeSpeech.com. If you like what I'm doing, please consider becoming a subscriber. There's a PayPal link there at RadioFreeSpeech.com. There's also a link to my account at Patreon if you'd like to become a patron. And coming soon, an interactive discussion. As soon as I get the phone lines in, we'll get your voice on as well at RadioFreeSpeech.com. That's RadioFreeSpeech.com.